Hello and welcome to Dwarf Fortress and welcome to the channel, I'm Twisted Logic. I'm going to be starting this Hermit Challenge, so I set my population cap to 1. And um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to leave artifacts on or not throughout the, throughout the series, but um, right now I'm leaving it on. I uh, found this um, Tropical Savannah. It's um, only one biome in this location here. And um, I have a 7x7... 7x7 seven seven tile here as the site. So E to embark. And prepare carefully. And now I'm just going to see which one of these dwarves is the youngest. Okay, so Urist here. The peasant is the youngest in the group. <laughs> you don't care, so don't ask. <laughs> okay, so the only skills that I'm going to uh, assign are to just be a little bit more survivable. Um, to increase survivability a little bit, Dodger here. On Urist. So proficient Dodger. Yeah, that's it. So just proficient Dodger there. And then tab for the items. I'm gonna... So there's different um, different starts in the in the Hermit Challenge that you can do. Uh, I'm gonna bring, you know, just the light, light gear here. I still have like um, 700 and... 59 points to spend, but I'm not going to spend them. I'm just going to bring this stuff right here. So a little bit of wine, um, beer and rum, but not too much. Um, some seeds and uh, a little bit of food. And that's it. And one kitten. <laughs> Edo and Bark. Enter. Okay, so it looks like I got to watch out for tigers here. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at the map. I got some webs here. What is this about? Brown recluse Spider-Man silk webs here. So we got um, some dangerous things on the map already. Um, others here. Impalas, kestrel, uh, tigerfish, hippos, milkfish, and carp. Okay. So there was, um, looks like there was a Spider-Man, and, um, <laughs> it must have, must have swung away or something. <laughs> so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and take a look at the map. And, um, yeah, I never did the, um, I never did the Hermit Challenge before, so I figured I'd give it a try. Um... That's kind of something different. Oh, okay. We got webs a lot um, all over the place here. Volcano here, and then let's see what up here looks like. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the start of the river here, or the brook. McLogic's the Hermit, uh, just renamed him. All of these um, characters here just removed all their labors. And um, I think I'm going to start with wood cutting. Um, but I want to turn a bunch of these labors on. No fishing. Um, okay, excellent. So, military. Um, create a squad. Um, doesn't matter what armor yet. And then I'm going to put our... Add Earth McLogic to the squad one. And then create another squad. Bunch more of them. And then everybody else I'm going to put into this one right here. Okay. So 
squad B, I'm just going to send him to the top corner of the map here. Move. Enter. Okay, so, squ so Arist McLogic on squad 1, and then everybody else on squad B. Squad B is moving over here. And, uh, excellent. So let's see now. I gotta start designating some trees. Okay, so I set, uh, designated a bunch of trees and then set F2 to zoom to Arismic Logic and we're, he's going off to, uh, chop down some of these trees now. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, so there's different uh, ways that you can do the um, Hermit Challenge here. Um, I didn't want to make it too easy. Um, but at the same time, I'm kind of playing casually. Just, you know, just have fun with it and play, and play the game in a different way. Okay, so down here by the river here, I see those fish there. There's a hippos. And um, there seems to be more trees down here. Okay. There are some trees on the side of the mountain that I'm going after right now, as well. Okay, I think that's that should be pretty good. Um, I'm going to switch back over to mining. Uh, let me just go to status here. So I have um, 100 food stores, about 60 drinks. I go to stocks and... Um, Enhanced view, so E, and then just type in log. Okay, so I got a decent amount of logs here. Um, I don't think I have that many though, 75? So I got everything off of, except um, water hauling there. Uh, fishing, hunting, and um, wood cutting, because I switched back over to mining. Okay, so now I gotta get this wagon underground. All this stuff in the wagon. Um, designations dig, and I'm just gonna dig there. Um, you know what? I'll channel down. Channel down right here to start with. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And subscribe for more videos. Uh, this is um, a new Let's Play, so there is going to be a few episodes. Um, I'm not entirely sure how long I'm going to last. <laughs> um, but it should be pretty fun. Oh, okay. So I got to um, take access to this level now. Oh, he's there. Okay, never mind. I should have to dig access out here, though. Um, come out this way. So I don't want to, because I don't want to haul everything um, in the wagon to like. I could dig out in rooms, start digging out small rooms for. Um, Urist here, uh, but then I have to like hand carry everything in. So instead of that, I dug out underneath the underneath the wagon here, and designations H. And I'm just gonna collapse this section. Uh, designations X. I'll do uh, that one there last, and hopefully I don't get hurt while I do this.
Okay, so maybe um, squad A move. Like right over there. Okay. Designations H for a channel. I'll get that. And then squad A orders. Oh, good. I'm just going to step through with the uh, forward slash. Uh, no, he's fine. Okay, just unconscious. Uh, no damage. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, the yak cow got hurt. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, build, construct, floor. Oh, uh, I have basalt here now. Um, I just want to use logs here. There we go. Oh, clean. Gonna get, gonna get cleaned up here. Is he going? Oh, great. We got a, um, the Hamlet of Distant Beard has been founded. <laughs> Half a day's travel. Great. Hamlet of Distant Beard. <laughs> I don't know where, um, Earth McLogic's going here. To clean himself, scaring a bunch of hippos. Oh, all the way over there. Okay, so um, I for zones, and I'm just gonna set a zone like there. W for water source, and then um, O for orders. Um, Z for activity zone orders. Um, D and F. Zone only drinking and fishing. I'm not sure if that has to do with cleaning. Um, but that should be the location so he doesn't go on the other side of the river again like this. <laughs> okay, and those guys are just hanging out there with nothing to work. No work to do. Excellent. I'll have some more coffee now. And that kitten's running around too. Um construct building which is great so I'm gonna close up that so everything that was, was in the wagon just fell the wagon broke into that hole and now I'm covering up the top of the hole now and um, I'll build a um, To build a carpentry shop and get a bed going pretty soon. And possibly, probably start a farm before I, before I starve and run out of uh, beer. <laughs> yeah, I just thought this was going to be pretty fun to play in a different way. Okay, no job now. Um, so he's still on mining right now, so... Um, I can maybe dig out a little bit larger of a space here. Uh, not too big though. Let's see if I can do an outdoor um That's way too big. Outdoor farm plot. Um Three by three right there. Is 
Um, just to test out and see what I can grow here. But what I'll have to do is, um... Yeah, I'll have to make a carpentry shop because I didn't bring a bucket with me. Just one one tile larger, so it's like a four by four build uh, workshop carpenter. Let's see. So if I, yeah, I'm gonna have to put it in the corner over here. Um, the salt is fine, yeah. And then, um, let's see, I'll dig a little bit more this way. Uh, I just don't want to do too much, um, too much mining at one time. And, uh, bed. And, uh, E for bucket. Maybe I'll do a couple buckets. So the first, um, first two migrant waves are going to be are coded into the game, so they're unavoidable. Uh, first two migrant waves. So I want to try and um, close the, off this um, hobbit hole that I'm digging before the migrant waves get here. Also, the migrant waves are going to keep coming unless I talk to the liaison. Um, build workshop. I want a uh, mechanics workshop. T. Right there's fine. The salt as well. So the when the trade um Oh okay, that's fine. When the um liaison talks to my um whoever is in charge, um hopefully it's uh Aris McLogic. <laughs> um and then reports back to the home civilization at, that the population cap has been reached. That's when the migrant waves stop coming. So if I don't talk to him, I believe that, uh, from what I've read anyway, um, then migrant waves will keep coming. Okay, um, I want to build a door as well. Um, oh, add door. There we go. So I'm making the wooden bucket now, uh, constructing the wooden door, which is great. And um, I really want to um, dig down to uh, see if I can get some uh, metals pretty soon as well. Okay, now you see, give water. I thought I'd turn that off. Okay, so water hauling is off, but maybe it's, um, maybe it's feed patient prisoners. So I'll turn off the, um, I'll turn off the medical skills here. Yeah, I did play. I did play like a twenty-minute test and discovered this, but nothing too much longer than that. And it wasn't even this map, so um, there's still going to be things to learn. I'm okay. They're all sleeping out here. Great. Now, now we're just going to drink F1. It's 
going to build this door. Um, yeah, right there is fine. Oh, okay, so those are pretty big trees, so maybe I do have like 75 wood. Okay, I'm building the door there, and then... Okay, he just came here to sleep. Yep, they're coming in here to sleep. I don't like that. <laughs> We gotta lock those guys out. Now, Erst is um, also sleeping, and he didn't finish putting the door in there. It's alright, it's alright. Everything's great. Oh, great. Okay, so the door's in place. Um, building the bed. workshop is on it's underway um, and complete now so I'm gonna queue up some uh, mechanisms six I think six should be good and now that I'm in here with um, all the booze and food I'm gonna lock the door Yeah, I'll lock the door just for now. Dig a channel right here. And then... Let's see. Yeah, so this is going to be the channel and then one space all around it to make uh, six tiles right here. And that's going to be my farm. Or at least the start of a farm. Um, I'm probably not going to stay in this um, area that long. Uh, I'm not really sure yet. I'm not really sure. We're going to see how it goes. But, um... You know, this is where the wagon was, but I want to maybe... Oh, I'm not too far from the volcano here. Let's see. Okay, there's there I am up there. Okay. Oh, this is a nice flat area up here. What is that? Armadillo boar. Excellent. Okay, it looks like the last mechanism now. Oh great, and now that that farm area is being dug out. Um, I left that one blank um, underneath the channel so that way the ramp stays there. Um, I for zones, and then right here, enter. Um, no, enter there. Um, yep, pit and pond. Set pond information. Pond is not full. Okay. Unlock the door. Okay, so now I'll have to turn water hauling on to get that to go.
Okay, great. So Earth McLogic's going to fill the pond. <laughs> Oh, okay, so they, the other guys just came in. Okay. That's fine. That should be the last time they come in here. Uh, let's take a look at this pond now. I think it's good. Um, that's 1-7. Um, also 1-7 here. So I should be able to remove that zone there. Uh, maybe I'll start making a stockpile um, room. Doesn't have to be too big. Um, there's only so many things that I need in the stockpile. I'll start digging out a little bit. What is that? Oh, a little lizard. the door there too. <laughs> so this farm over here is just kind of a test to see. Um, I'll, maybe I'll collect some plants. I'll do some plant collection and see if I can grow something outside like that. Um, normally what I'll do is um, dig it down and put a roof over top of the outdoor farms and then um, but it looks like there's a little rock underneath this. Okay, stockpile for weapons. Right there. And unlock the door. Because I think that mining pick is somewhere up here. Uh, the axe right here. I need to get that copper battle axe inside. Okay, it's now somewhere on the calendar. Excellent. Um, store item in the bag. Okay. Um, no job now. That's fine. Uh, I need to build a workshop um, still. stockpile there. Oh, and you know what? I gotta build a trade depot. Let's remove these ramps here. And I'll build the trade depot. Oh, you know what? Oh, I won't remove the ramps. I'll just build it up here. all mud down here now too. Great, so um farm plot. Oh this looks like um okay clay loom wall so I could build some more farms up here maybe I'll dig this out a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah, some hermit, uh, some people who play the hermit um, mode won't trade with anybody um, and just kind of make everything. 
Oh, that's a pretty nice place for a farm there. Construct building. Okay, great. So the, the trade uh, depot. Um, yeah, I was thinking that um, I would at least steal from the traders. <laughs> Maybe I'll just always steal from the traders. Whatever they bring, just steal from them. Building the still over there now. Oh, great. So I got two farms. So one of them can be for cloth and the other one for um, food. Or one for food and the other one for uh, drinks. I don't know. This one's going to be cave wheat um, in the summer. I don't want to farm too much though. Autumn I'll do cave wheat. Um, and we'll see from there. So just summer and autumn right now on this farm for cave wheat. And cave wheat should make beer. I'll make a um, small furniture stockpile over here in this room. Put that a bedroom right there. Enter. Assign the bed. Aristomic logic. <laughs> and I'm planting seeds. Great. Excellent. Oh. Ah, you got in here. Sleeping in my bed. Who is that? Air buzz. Okay. He's gonna. I'm gonna have to make some kind of unfortunate accident for those other dwarves there. Uh, now that see the rest of them are coming in now and stealing my stuff. <laughs> Should have locked the door. I'll wait till they leave and I'll lock it. You know what I'll do is um, maybe down a little bit over here. Dig a room. Okay, so I'm going to make a dormitory room right here. This is going to be a dormitory sleeping area for migrants and those doors over there, but Beds. So I make a couple beds, put it in the dormitory, 
Put a door there. Eh. Uh, lock the door when they get in there. <laughs> Let's lock them in that room. Maybe I could channel over some magma from the volcano. That wouldn't be uh, difficult. I'm gonna bring bring um. I'm gonna bring some wood in, into the um, mountain home here in, in a little bit. right here. Uh, why is it suspended? Unsuspend that. Okay, great. So this is going to be the um, storage room, but I'll go to designations and um, just change the priority to uh, seven and repaint that. And now I should be going down to the other room. Yeah, right down here. So build the door. Um, I guess planning mode since I need a door right there. Add a door here and then I'll set the hotkey here as well. get suspended but okay they're coming back so just before they come back here I'm locking the door looks like I was just in time there excellent get out of here steal my booze Z um, so I got 50 drinks um, 50 food stores okay okay we're doing pretty good pretty good start right now okay so I'm thinking that um, when I open the door next, when I unlock this door, they'll probably try and come back in here. Uh, they didn't go in there yet. Um, they'll probably try and come back in here and get the food and drinks, so... Let's see. to get the starving warnings which is good but I'm gonna dig out this room here and um, turn this into a food drink stockpile and put a door he in here that I can lock so that way next time I open the main door they don't come in to get the food because it's behind a second locked door so it should be okay they may still come in for the bed um, but I'm gonna build building the dormitory in the bottom um, area there and then um, once they get into that dormitory I'm gonna lock the door I'm gonna lock them in there <laughs> oh great so that that second farm plot is um, that second farm plot is made yeah excellent so this one will be um, do plump helmets because we can eat those in the summertime. I don't want to set too much um, farming because I'm not really sure how much I'm going to need yet. Uh, I feel like one dwarf isn't going to need that much farming. So it may be that during one of the seasons I'm doing like heavy farming and in like a bunch of plots and then I'm good for the year or um, 
maybe it'll be like very light farming eat every season and and I should be okay uh, through the year like that but I think I kind of like the idea of um, just doing like a bunch of heavy farming at a certain point uh, making like a lot of um, food and drinks and then um, and then not having to worry about it okay so that's a food stockpile now um, build the door there oh you know what I, I don't have wood in here okay so he's planting the seeds uh, I'll do a stockpile of wood here as well and then I'm gonna need a mason shop so X to remove that stockpile, then build the workshop uh, mason. <laughs> okay, so so I got the mason shop going, so I'll make the doors out of uh, stone instead. And now I'm gonna plant more seeds down here. Excellent. Um, add a new task. Brew drink from plant. Repeat. So there's no workflow with that. It's just if there's a plant that I can brew, I'm going to brew it and then repeat the process. That's going to be limited by barrels at first. It should be fine. It should be fine. Now, uh, there is... Um, this is the age of the Hydra. So... I'm not sure this door isn't the safest. Uh, I'll be building a um, bridge door at a certain point. I, maybe I'll have that bridge door like just a stairway that comes down through the whole thing. And then um, I'll come out like over here by the water. Or... Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Because the wood's down here as well, so... If I dig that out, and um, south, and then east, and then up through the Z-levels. It's something I'll have to think about. Okay, I'm planting seeds again. Oh, he's putting the cave weed in the in the food stockpile there. Okay. This needs to get done. Not. Rest needs to make the mason shop. Okay, we got a bunch of the the rest of them. The six others are starving, which is great. <laughs> Sooner they're dead, the better. Plant seeds again. Okay, so sleep <laughs> of course I went to sleep after all that okay I just need to go into um, the kitchen tab here and turn cooking cooking off with um, plump helmets and then seeds we'll check out this okay good So actually we're pretty good on drinks, so um, 
Oh, okay, starting to move some stuff now. Oh, we have an anvil. Oh, great. And he's building the masonry shop. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, masonry shop's done. Add a new task for doors. Uh, make four doors. Oh, he's drinking right now. Okay. Construct rock door. Excellent. Excellent. I was worried that the farm was just going to take over the, the game. <laughs> so what I'll do is um, maybe turn the... Oh, okay. So the task is off on this still. Okay, great. Um, the weather's cleared. Excellent. Urs McLogic's thoughts. Um, Z for status. Enter. Finished up some work. That was satisfying. Um, satisfied at, satisfied at work. Anything? Um, okay. Uh, annoyed after having drank without a goblet, cup, or mug. Gotta make some of them. Uh, annoyed, um, dwelling upon having to drink without a goblet cup or mug again. Satisfied remembering work. Um, annoyed, choking on dust from underground. That was when we dropped the wagon. Okay, everything else looks pretty good. Dreams of creating a masterwork someday. Okay, great. So what I'll do is I'll make a craft work, craft dwarf workshop. At a certain point, um, I'll just queue that up with, um, a marker only, um, for another room for, uh, some more stuff here. Maybe I'll make a larger room. I'll just take out a larger room and I can put a bunch of stuff in there, but I want to make these doors, um, and then get the food over here into the food stockpile, the food and drink in here. First, so... Okay, he's making the second door. Second door is made. Excellent. again. See, I think these farms are going to be a problem. Okay, just cut the food stockpile in half there and then remade it. Settings of this is going to be um, forbid everything that's not a drink. And let me just unlock this door. Okay, and then um, units. I just want to see if these guys come now that the door's unlocked. Oh, okay, they're fine. They're, they're hanging out. Still planting seeds. So... Um, Z here. Fallow all seasons. So that one is um, fallowed. Store item in stockpile. What's, what item? Wood? Okay. Units. L for uh, managing labors. Just gonna come over and disable wood hauling for now. Right here, wood hauling. Enter. Wood hauling not enabled.
Oh, great. Now, now he's going to set up the dormitory. Excellent. Um, I need that bed in there. The, uh, the door in there, though. Excellent. So we got the door right now. Uh, I saw somebody. Wasn't quick enough there. <laughs> That's all right. Like one or two. Okay, now lock that door. Down here, uh, this bedroom, or to make it a bedroom, expand it out. Enter um, dormitory. Yes. And then um, maybe I'll dig, dig it out a little bit bigger uh, for any kind of migrant waves so we just have enough room to get everybody inside. It looks like these guys are coming back inside, trying to get some food and drink, so we're just gonna lock this up. Maybe I'll make a tavern uh, or a library. I was thinking maybe making making um, Urs McLogic the curator of a library. <laughs> I do need to um, set up a temple for him though. Shift M to toggle markers, and then I'll just untoggle that right there. I'll let him dig for a while. Uh, excellent. So we got uh, caravan here. Excellent. Uh, I don't see them. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, they're setting up the goods now. Um, in for nobles, and then. Broker is going to be Urist, with Logic, as well as the Bookkeeper. Um, I'll have to set up like a really good bedroom and office for him. Um, right now I need a meager office. Um, that's the only thing he requires. I'll have to set up like a really good bedroom and office and then I'll just assign as many noble positions as I can to him. <laughs> on here. I come empowered to establish this as a colony. Yeah. We're going to ma maintain our distance B. Request the trader. Oh, G for goods, and then, um, just some logs, and then also request the trader, um, just because I want to see what they have first.
Okay, great. So they have um, one steel bar. Now I could steal from them. I could just steal everything they have here. <laughs> okay. So they have a bunch of um, metal bars, opals, um, some glass. Um, the typical trader stuff here. Um, uh, some animals here in the cages. Um, a bunch of alcohol and food and equipment. All this fine stuff right here. Um, as well as leather and cloth bins. So let me know what you think in the comments of this episode. If I should steal from the traders or not. <laughs> um... Oh, look at this. They have um, enormous steel corkscrew as well. A bunch of steel here that I could probably melt down. Um, as well as a bunch of cheese and um, some instrument pieces here. Parchment sheets. So I'll let this video um, play out on YouTube for a couple days before I record the next one. And um, so that way I can read the comments and, and see what you guys think. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more videos.